cereal. Oh, yeah, let me cereal in it. Santa baby, just slip a sable under the tree for me. I do look like a German lesbian. Don't perm this hair, by the way. It's Christmas, uh, I wasn't feeling very festive. I got a tree yesterday and now I feel festive, so I'm going to incorporate that festiveness into a vlog. <laughs> Vote for who? Mother. Yeah. Stacey Stace. I'm not too sure when this vlog goes out, but if anyone knows Stacey Stace, incredible singer. So we've got two weeks left of this. We've got two weeks left of this blast. 97.5 key this morning, which means we've hit the 10 key mark in eight weeks, which is good going. And I need to get my DEXA scan booked in because we started this blast at 87.5. So 10 key on the nose, two weeks left to push. I've hit the sort of max body composition that I'd like to achieve for this. So I'm happy just to eke out a, a couple more point key so we don't sacrifice body composition too much as we touched upon it before in the previous vlog. If you haven't seen it, there's the card. But today, rest day, gonna have meal number one after a little walk offer some coffee and then afternoon winter tea don't know how that different shakes between a normal tea and ice skating I oh, know how oh, lovely cold dry it's cold dry Zara bring it back got a black cold dry coat nice goes well this winter and obviously the space boots that I'm getting a lot of heat from. Neil Armstrong, Pennywise, are your shoes on trend? <laughs> Banter. Let's go supersonic. I ain't had any bumble since I beefed her. Huh? Nova Pump Neuro. I'm a big fan of Nova Pump's Nova Pump, but they've gone Komodo and introduced some cognitive enhancement ingredients in the form of acetyl L carnitine, L tyrosine, alpha GPC, and hupazine. So we'll have a scoop of the new Nova Pump Neuro alongside MV Pre, which already contains hupazine. We've got a rhydrogenesis in there. Decent amount of caffeine, N-acetyl, L-tyrosine, choline, bitartrate. Let's get out of here. Annual, annual trip. Weekly trip to Crayford. Yeah. Old tight Tanya for letting me film. Also, old tight Tanya from EastEnders. I miss her. I haven't been watching EastEnders recently, but I should be because a madness always happens at Christmas and EastEnders. Christmas isn't Christmas if Max Brandon isn't standing outside the Queen Vic when everyone's celebrating inside, smoking a fag, looking like that. That's a bomb the place. Anyway, chest, deltoids and triceps today. Fasted as usual. I'm gonna consume my pre-workout. About 10 minutes time. Magic are doing a madness this Christmas. That I made an F. They want a franchise, now they're making offers. In business class by here, college. No, no voice over comments today. Just keeping it raw. We're at Crayford, we've got chest delts and tries. This is rotation number one, so back to rotation number one. Today's movement that we're focusing on is the Nautilus shoulder. So like with the hammer incline press and muscle work, we're trying to progress this. Last rotation we did four and a half plates. Today we're gonna to go for five, which is quite a big jump considering where we're at in terms of the current phase. Usually when you provide a new stimulus at the beginning of the at the beginning of the like training cycle, those jumps can be like five to ten. Towards the latter stages when progression is slightly harder, these these bigger jumps are a stroke. So we've got six to nine, but we'll aim for the lower rep range, see if we can eke out a few reps for five.
five plates, I think we've got like eight. I think we squeezed out eight reps on those five plates onto some seated machine latch arrays. This is the nicest seat latch from machine I've used because they've got the chest support. Just stabilise everything so much nicer than most machines so you can increase the load a lot a lot more, really drive your weight into that pad. The addition of your foot slightly placed wider on the machine as well, so that's why I come here for this rotation for this chest delta some tricep session so I can utilize this machine and then we use the incline hammer. That is chest and shoulder movements done onto triceps, it's one of my favorite tricep exercises. If you are using this, like a dual rope, ensure that the easier bar that you're using matches or is just outside shoulder width. So I see too many people using like this sort of setup, but the ropes are, are, are far too narrow and you'll still be getting the same effect if you're using a single rope in terms of internal rotation of the shoulder. So Crayford have got a nice EZ bar. They've also got the single handle ropes, which are, which are nice. And these D handles, I really like these D handles. Fortitude Fitness. I like the, the thickness of the, it's not too thick. What? You know what I feel like? Like a secondary school PE teacher. Not that vibe. They always wear like stupidly bright overcoloured trainers. I am indeed, yes, I am fasting. I cannot have any chocolates from the calendar. Bit of an anti-climax that espresso blonde roast. I think overrated. Still a big fan of the Mark and Spencer's Colombian bean. But I do need to broaden my bean collection sticking with the festive theme i'm gonna go up to selfridges get a few oxford tree get a few bits and pieces for the family mum and dad and that i'm gonna go to breakfast club because i've never been there before and it looks good so I fasted done 4,000 steps this morning had a black coffee just so that i'm primed for a bit of bad food and that'll probably see me through the day to be honest i'll go into more detail in probably the next video but Slight manipulation of calories over this Christmas break. We'll do a separate video. Then we can SEO it, we can do a thumbnail, and everyone can watch it. I got a message from his company the other day. He said, hello, Thomas. I said, hello. You've seen them about, There's, and they all look the same. I think this is like a generic product, and then other companies just obviously put their brand on it. But I looked at the reviews, very good, and I wanted to get my hands on one of these for quite a while, but they're like 500 quid in England, and I thought, hell no. I think these are two nine nine dollars, so I'll be about what, 200 quid. I know what you're thinking. No, it can't be used in the bedroom, okay? Because if it was, she'd leave you. She'd run away with him. That's what Anne Summers is for. Fair few settings on the boy. Like full powers, it's, it's strong. But I don't know, I've, got not, I've not got anything to compare it to. I suppose the research into it is pretty much the same as massage. It's quite a few attachments. I've not been paid for this, by the way. They've just given me one for free, which I appreciate. Like I said, I want to get my hands on one. But a couple of physios reached out yesterday on Instagram and said they've been using them with their clients for the majority of the year and had great success. In particular, use before you go and train legs, which I'm a bit dubious about. I've always seen research to be pretty negative in looking at myofascial release or like foam rolling for example before legs but you could honestly try it insertion at the it bands abductors a bit of the glutes we've got legs today you know what i did last night i've been playing a lot of call of duty recently and i put the bullet attachment Are you sure it's not from ann summers the bullet attachment on my thumb because i'm like Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Oh ignore my ignore my horrendous varicose veins. I think I need to get surgery actually. It feels wonderful though. <laughs> 
Right then, Brightman. Six felt slightly light. We'll go. We'll go for seven. That's it. Christmas Eve Eve vlog going out tonight, the 23rd of December 2019. Gonna watch The Grinch tonight. Tomorrow's Christmas Eve. M&S pick up, IRV, drink with the boys, bottle of Henschke. I'll see you in that video as well. Thanks for watching this one. Thank you, goodnight, much love.